This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Carol Good. www.soundsgood.com. How to Cook Fish by Olive Green. Section 15 32 Ways to Cook Flounder. Baked Flounder. Clean and split two flounders and take out all the small bones. Lay the fish in a buttered dish. Sprinkle with chopped mushrooms, minced parsley, onion, and grated bread crumbs. Season with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Dot with butter and bake. Cook together two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour, and thicken two cupfuls of milk with it. Season with salt, pepper, lemon juice, anchovy paste, and minced parsley. Add a tablespoonful of capers. Drain the butter from the fish, pour over the sauce, and serve. Baked Flounder à l'Italienne Cook together a tablespoonful of butter, two tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley, one tablespoonful each of chopped mushrooms and shallots, and two cupfuls of white wine. Reduce half by rapid boiling. Add one cupful of chicken stock and half a cupful of milk or beef stock, and thicken with flour blended with butter. Season with salt and pepper and boil down until very thick. Prepare a flounder according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Season with salt and pepper, rub with butter, pour over one cupful of white wine, cover with the sauce, and sprinkle thickly with crumbs. Bake in a moderate oven until done. Serve in the same dish. Baked Flounder à la Bon Valet Put a cleaned flounder into a baking pan with salt, pepper, grated nutmeg, chopped onion, a tablespoonful of butter, a wine glassful of white wine, and a cupful of white stock. Bake carefully, basting as required. Take up the fish, add another cupful of stock, and thicken the sauce with two tablespoonfuls of flour, blended with an equal quantity of butter. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of three eggs, well beaten, and a tablespoonful of minced parsley. Spread this sauce over the fish, cover with crumbs, dot with butter, and brown in the oven. Sprinkle with lemon juice, and serve. Baked Flounder à la Parisienne Stuff a cleaned flounder with seasoned crumbs and put into a buttered baking dish. Dot with butter, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and pour over half a cupful each of oyster liqueur and white wine. Cover with buttered paper and bake for forty minutes, basting as required. Take up the fish, strain the sauce, and prepare a sauce according to directions given in the first part of the recipe for flounder pie à la Normandie. Add the strained liquid to the sauce. Pour over the fish, cover with crumbs, and brown in the oven. Baked Flounder à la Saint Malo Put the cleaned fish into a buttered baking dish with chopped onions, parsley, salt, pepper, a tablespoonful of butter, and two cupfuls of cider. Also add a little mussel or oyster liqueur, if at hand. Bake for half an hour in a moderate oven, basting as needed. Drain the sauce. Thicken with a tablespoonful of butter cooked with an equal quantity of flour. Add more butter and a squeeze of lemon juice. Pour the sauce over the fish and serve. Baked Fillets of Flounder in Wine Fillet the fish. Mix together four tablespoonfuls of sherry, half a cupful of butter, one tablespoonful each of onion juice, lemon juice, and salt, and add pepper to season. Bring to a boil, dip the fillets into it, arrange in a baking dish, Cover with the remaining sauce and bake in a hot oven for ten minutes. Fry in butter a slice each of onion and carrot, a bay leaf, and a sprig of parsley. Add a tablespoonful of flour and cook thoroughly. Add one cupful of chicken stock and half a cupful of cream. Cook until thick, stirring constantly, and seasoning with salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg. Add the gravy from the baking pan. Strain, reheat, pour over the fish, and serve. Baked Fillets of Flounder Remove the backbone and cut the fish into four pieces. 
Roll up each piece and pin with a toothpick. Soak for an hour in oil and lemon juice. Roll in seasoned crumbs, then in beaten egg, then in crumbs. Put into a baking pan, upon thin slices of salt pork. Sprinkle with chopped onions and olives. Cover and bake. Garnish with sliced lemons. Flounder with fine herbs. Put the prepared fish into a pan with two tablespoonfuls of butter, the juice of a lemon, and salt and pepper to season. Add one cupful each of water and white wine. Cover and cook for half an hour. Drain the fish. Thicken the sauce with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter. Boil, strain, add two tablespoonfuls of butter and two tablespoonfuls of chopped parsley. Pour over the fish and serve. Flounder à la Française Cover a flounder with white wine. Sprinkle with salt and pepper. Add a bunch of parsley, a few chives, a bay leaf, and a little chopped onion. Boil for ten minutes. Take up the fish carefully. Rub the sauce through a sieve. Thicken with a tablespoonful of flour rubbed smooth with half a cupful of butter. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Flounder à la Janine Fill a flounder with seasoned crumbs mixed with chopped mushrooms, shallots, and parsley. Put on a buttered baking dish. Season with salt and pepper. Dot with butter and pour over half a cupful each of sherry and oyster liqueur. Bake until done, basting as required. Take up the fish, add a cupful of stock to the sauce, and thicken with browned flour. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter and a little lemon juice. Strain over the fish and garnish with parboiled oysters. Flounder à la Provençale Clean two flounders and let stand for four hours in a marinade of olive oil and lemon juice seasoned with salt, pepper, onion, parsley, thyme, bay leaves, and bruised garlic. Put into a baking dish with the seasoning a teaspoon of butter, one cupful each of stock and white wine. Bake for half an hour, basting as needed. Drain, strain, and skim the sauce. Thicken with butter and flour. Take from the fire. Add the yolks of four eggs well beaten and lemon juice to taste. Season with red pepper and minced parsley. Pour over the fish and serve. Breaded Turbans of Flounder Fillet three flounders. Season with salt and pepper. Dip into melted butter. Roll up and fasten with a toothpick. Dip into egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Turbans of Flounder with Anchovies Drain a bottle of anchovies from the oil. Mix with two tablespoonfuls of butter, half a cupful of stock, a tablespoonful of lemon juice, and salt and pepper to taste. Pound to a paste and add the yolks of two raw eggs. Prepare the fillet of flounder according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Spread with the forcemeat, roll up, and pin with toothpicks. Roll in melted butter, then in flour, and bake in a hot oven for 20 minutes. Turbans of Flounder with Oysters Prepare according to directions given above, stuffing with chopped oysters and seasoned crumbs. Fricassee of Flounder Clean the flounders, cut into convenient pieces, season with salt, dredge with flour, and fry in boiling fat. Chop a dozen oysters and put into a saucepan with their liqueur, one cupful of white wine, a tablespoonful of anchovy paste, and salt, pepper, and grated nutmeg to taste. Bring to the boil, pour over the fish, and serve. Fried Flounder Prepare the fish according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Sprinkle with salt and pepper, dip into milk, then into flour, and sauté in pork fat. Or dip in beaten egg and breadcrumbs and fry in deep fat. Garnish with lemon and parsley. Fried Fillets of Flounder Prepare the fillets according to directions given in the preceding recipe. Keep in a cold place for half an hour. Fry in deep fat and serve with tartar sauce. Fillets of Flounder au Gratin Cook together three tablespoonfuls of butter, one tablespoonful of flour, a slice of onion, and a bay leaf. Add two cupfuls of chicken stock and cook until thick, stirring constantly. 
Strain and add a tablespoonful of lemon juice. Dip the fillets of fish into melted butter, season with salt and pepper, cover with sauce and bread crumbs. Bake for twenty minutes in a very hot oven. Fillets of Flounder à la Lyon Bone the fish and cut into fillets. Wash in cold salted water and wipe dry. Dip in egg and seasoned bread crumbs and fry in hot drippings. Serve with melted butter, lemon juice, and minced parsley, or tomato sauce, or a sauce made as follows. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour, and thicken with it a cupful. Of Add a tablespoonful each of lemon juice, chopped pickles, and capers, a teaspoonful each of minced parsley and mustard, and the mashed yolk of a hard-boiled egg. Beat thoroughly together, and serve either hot or cold. Filet of Flounder a la Normandy Prepare the filets according to directions previously given, and season with pepper and salt. Fry a small chopped onion in butter, and add two chopped hard-boiled eggs, and one tablespoonful of minced parsley. Season with pepper and salt. Add a tablespoonful of butter, and cook to a smooth paste. Spread the fillets with this paste. Put a parboiled mussel on each one. Roll and tie with a string. Add to the mussel liqueur one cupful of cream and simmer the fillets in it for six minutes. Take out and cut the strings. Thicken the sauce with the yolks of two eggs beaten with four tablespoonfuls of cream. Add a teaspoonful of butter and a few drops of lemon juice. Add a few parboiled mussels to the sauce. Reheat. Pour over the fish and serve. Stuffed Fillets of Flounder 1. Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Season with salt and pepper and dredge in flour. Put half of the fillets into a buttered baking dish. Chop together a button onion, a small bunch of parsley, half a stalk of celery, and half a can of mushrooms. Mix two tablespoonfuls of butter with one teaspoonful of flour and add to the chopped mixture with the yolks of two raw eggs. Season with salt, red and black pepper, and mix thoroughly. Spread the fillets in the pan with this stuffing and lay the other fillets on top. Cover with buttered paper and cook for twelve minutes. Serve with the remaining mushrooms heated and sprinkle with lemon juice. Stuffed Fillets of Flounder 2 Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Put each two together with mashed potato beaten light with egg between. Cover with crumbs, dip in egg and crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Serve with tartar sauce. Fillets of Flounder with Green Peas Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Dip into melted butter and season with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Skewer into shape with toothpicks and arrange in a baking dish. Half cover with stock made from the fish trimmings and bake for ten minutes. Arrange in a circle on a platter and fill the center with green peas seasoned with salt, pepper, and butter. Strain the stock, thicken with butter and flour cooked together, and serve separately as a sauce. Steamed Fillets of Flounder Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given, and spread with chopped pickles, olives, capers, parsley, and onions. Roll up, fasten with toothpicks, and steam or bake, basting with stock, or dip in egg and crumbs and fry in deep fat. Serve with any preferred sauce. Stuffed Fillets of Flounder a la Delmonico Prepare the fillets according to directions previously given. Cover with half a cupful of white wine, one cupful of fish stock made from the bones, and salt and paprika to season. Simmer for twenty minutes. Cook together one tablespoonful each of butter and flour, add half a cupful of stock, and cook until very thick, stirring constantly. Add half a cupful each of shrimps and oysters chopped fine, a teaspoonful of Worcestershire sauce, the yolk of an egg, and two drops of Tabasco sauce. Dip the fillets in this mixture and cool. When cold, dip in crumbs, then in egg, then in crumbs, and fry in deep fat. Rolled Fillets of Flounder Prepare the fillets as directed and spread with anchovies, lobster, shrimps, or sardines mashed to a paste with butter. Roll up, fasten with toothpicks, and bake 
fry, sauté or stew as preferred. Broiled Fillets of Flounder a la Brighton Season the fillets with salt, pepper, and oil. Broil carefully and put on slices of buttered toast. Surround with parboiled oysters and serve over a sauce made of water and the oyster liqueur, thickened with butter and flour cooked together, and seasoned with anchovy paste. Fillets of Flounder a la Deep Poise Prepare the fillets as directed, seasoning with salt and pepper. Brown in melted butter and cool. Sprinkle with crumbs, dip in eggs beaten with an equal quantity of melted butter, roll in fresh crumbs and broil, basting with oil. Serve with melted butter, minced parsley, and lemon juice. Flounder Pie a la Normandy Chop fine two carrots and two onions, two sprigs of parsley, a stalk of celery, and a bit of bay leaf. Fry in butter, seasoning with salt and pepper and powdered mace. Add two cupfuls of boiled milk and cook slowly for twenty-five minutes. Press through a sieve, add two cupfuls of cream, and reheat. Add the fillets of a two-pound flounder, the mussels taken from a quart of mussel shells, a quart of oysters, parboiled in their liqueur, and drained, and half a pound of cleaned, fresh mushrooms. Cook for two minutes. Thicken with the yolks of two eggs beaten, with one tablespoonful of butter and two of cream. Fill a baking dish lined with pastry, cover with crust, and bake. Broiled Flounder a la Chivry Cut the flounder into fillets as previously directed. Soak for an hour in a marinade of oil and lemon juice seasoned with salt, pepper, onion, and parsley. Dip in crumbs and broil basting with oil. Serve with quartered lemon. Flounder with white wine sauce. Put the prepared fish into a baking dish with two tablespoonfuls of butter, two cupfuls of white wine, and salt and pepper to taste. Cover and cook for twenty minutes, adding more water if necessary. Drain the fish, thicken the gravy with a tablespoonful of flour cooked in butter, bring to the boil, add the juice of a lemon and two tablespoonfuls of butter, Pour over the fish and serve. Flounder au gratin. Fry in butter chopped parsley, shallot, and button mushrooms. Season with salt and pepper and spread on the bottom of a baking dish. Lay on them a trimmed flounder. Cover with crumbs, dot with butter, moisten with white wine, and cook carefully. Serve in the same dish. End of section 15